Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Craig Jones's entries into the legs from knee shield. And I'm a purple belt in Jiu Jitsu. Definitely don't claim to know everything. But I did notice a few different ways Craig was setting up his entry and a few different ways he was finishing that entry based on his opponent's reactions. So uh, I think it would be fun to maybe go through these same videos uh, in a few years um, and see if I notice anything that I missed um, now. So if you like the idea behind the video, if you like the content, please like and subscribe. And let's get to it. So as you can see, Craig has his knee shield in. That's pretty hard to see. There's a ref stand right here, but he has his knee shield in. Um, and he starts attacking this far arm of his opponent, Chael Sonnen. Gets two on one grip. He goes into his Kimura attack here. And you can see he's not he's not getting anywhere with this Kimura. Um, but I think with his what his intentions are with this is to get his opponent to overreact. And by overreacting, they'll posture up and they'll rip their arm out, right? And by doing that, they'll leave this far leg available for Craig to attack. But to his credit, Chael um, does not do that, and he prevents this leg entry here. Now, in this scenario, we could see Craig heist up to his elbow here. Chael has a forearm frame on Craig here, and Craig has a very deep knee shield all the way to the far hip over here. Um, of his opponent, but this knee right here is of Chael is much closer. Um, so uh, Craig is going to try and dive underneath the forearm frame of Chael and get access to this leg here. You can see that didn't work, right? Chael was able to follow Craig down, and uh, this frame is still very strong and able to push Craig's face away um, to prevent that entry. But the next thing that happens is very, very cool. You could see this frame is strong. This hand right here of Chael is monitoring the leg of Craig here. But Craig is able to create the tiniest Kazushi, just off balance his opponent just a little bit. And you could see this hand goes to the ground over here because Craig was able to off balance him in this direction. And that alleviates the pressure of this frame as well. So now Craig is able to get past this frame connect his hands and start driving this leg towards the opposite hip over here. Boom. Now you can see this foot is going down or this leg is going down um, this way and his foot's actually connecting um, to the hamstring of Chael Sonnen. And this prevents um, Craig from getting uh, in a toehold battle with, with, uh, with Chael here, um, prevents like counter leg locking against Craig. So um, from here, Craig's gonna start turning his hips towards the sky and start extending that leg of Chael Sonnen. Now, Craig's in a standard Arimi Ashigurami um, where he's got a closed circle with his knee connecting to his heel right here and this foot is on the inside. Um, and what I think he's hoping Chael does right now is I think he's hoping Chael tries to run and rip his leg out. And if Chael were to do that, I think Craig would cross uh, Chael's leg over to his uh, right hip here, and he would attack an inside heel hook from 50-50, um, which is a pretty strong breaking position, right? One of the strongest in the game. So um, I think that's what Craig is hoping happens. But again, to his credit, Chael stays in there and he starts hand fighting. Um, now Craig's able to expose the heel very quickly um, and he'll get the tap here. But I do think that Chael had good reactions, right? His instincts were good. Um, he didn't try and turn and run, he tried to address the problem. And I don't think Craig wanted to finish from this Arimiyashi position with his foot still on the inside here um, with an outside heel hook. I think he would prefer to you know, finish from an inside heel hook from a 50-50, but um, he was able to get the finish here. And, and you could see Chael's reaching for his toes and he's pulling his toes back this way. Uh, which is am actually amplifying the, the heel hook. So it just kind of shows um, he's not too familiar with this um, situation, but um, I think his his instincts uh, were good. And I, I don't think Craig, this was the ideal finishing position for, for Craig, but um, he gets a tap nonetheless. So. so now we go into this match against Jake Shields. 
Um, you can see right away, Jake is playing very conservative. This leg is super far back. He's very, playing very low, and he's waiting for Craig to dive for that leg. And as soon as he does, that cross face comes in, this leg sprawls back, and uh, he's not having any of it. So, um, yep, they reset. You can see his leg is so far back. So now Craig takes this cross shoulder pose here and is pushing um, with his, his forearm here. He's elevating uh, Jake off, off this way. And this top leg right here of this knee shield is driving this way as well. So he's off balancing his opponent this way. And you can see Jake actually falls down. Now, the same as last time, this top leg is going to drive towards the far hip. Boom. So it's dropping down towards the far hip of Jake Shields. Now, Jake goes from this Achilles grip. You can see he switches to grab the thigh right here of Craig Jones. Now, the intention of this is to prevent Craig from spinning all the way around his leg and entering into that cross ashigrami position. Now, personally, I think if Jake were to hold on to the Achilles grip, I think it would give him a better chance of preventing that um, entry. But um, then again, I, who knows? Um, but yeah, that was his intentions with, with this grip, I believe. But you can see uh, Craig is able to successfully spin around the leg, free his foot, and enter into cross ashigrami here. So now here, um, he begins with this grip over here, um, kind of around the armpit of that far arm. But then he puts this uh, overhook on the near side arm. Um, this is different, you know, from the first two. The first one, um, he was attacking like two on one grips and Kimura's on, on this far side arm. This time he goes um, overhook on the, the near side arm. Now he heists up to an elbow. And he uses this, this overhook to put pressure downwards, causing his opponent to have to put some weight on this hand. And that leaves it available to be grabbed. So now he's starting to threaten the triangle. And to defend the triangle, what his opponent does is he stands up. And that leaves that leg right there for Craig. So again, he stands up hooks that leg, but this time he doesn't have half guard, right? This, this knee needs to get, or he has half guard, he doesn't have a knee shield. So this knee needs to get in. So this foot goes to the ground first, little hip escape, shoots that knee across. Now, depends on what, what reaction he's going to give, right? Whether it's he'll fall down like, like Jake Shields is, or he, or he sits up strong like Chael Sonnen did and, and um, doesn't fall over. His opponent here falls down to his hip, but you can see this leg, he's gonna long step his leg out. You can see it right here, boom. So he, it's hard to see, it's hard to see when you replay it. So scoop, hip escape, drives knee across. Now, what happens, so this is the same situation as Jake Shield, right? He's going to fall down to a hip. And in that situation, Craig spun the leg to cross Ashigrami. But in this situation, watch this leg of his opponent here. It's going to, he's going to backstep this leg out. So by doing that, now Craig has no feet inside. So he can't enter into cross, Ashi, cross Ashigrami. So his opponent steps out leaving Craig with no feet inside, and he like pinches his legs together really tight so Craig can't get his feet back inside. But boom, see him drop step that leg and kind of goes into a long step. So now Craig's kind of in like no man's land here. Doesn't really know what to do. He's trying to get his knee. See, he's trying to dig his knee back inside here. Boom, long step. He's trying to drive his knee inside to reclaim that inside position, but his opponent is having none of it. He's closing his knee down, just not letting him get the inside position. So what Craig does is he backsteps over everything. So now he enters into somewhat like a cross ashigrami position, but he has both his opponent's legs inside that cross ashi. So pretty, pretty crazy. Um, and he exposes the heel here for the inside heel hook. 
But yeah, you can see both. So Craig's basically wrapped his legs around both of his opponent's legs. And that was possible because his opponent was clamping his legs so close together to prevent that inside position. Done deal. So yeah, um, that was a, a bit of a breakdown on uh, some different entries, um, different setups, and uh, different um, finishes that Craig uh, does from that knee shield position to enter into the leg. So if you liked the video, please, please like, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time.